Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brian Shanae and today I'll be sharing with you an unboxing and it's going to be from Illumicrate. So if you want to know what's inside of this gorgeous box, please stay tuned. And I am back. So like I said before, I'll be doing an unboxing and this is going to be my Illumicrate uh, book box subscription that I bought you know I purchase every single month at the beginning of every single month uh I believe this is the June box I do not remember what the theme is but I'm sure we'll find out with the spoiler card inside so let's go ahead and get started so as I open the box of course this is what it looks like when it says right here this is a little inspiration for your day and then here is the spoiler card and this is what it looks like in the inside of the box so the theme for June is fight for your future. And that's the theme for this month. And then as we go through this box, I will be referencing uh, who had created these items just to give them their, their props for creating these great items. So what I see here is it looks like it's a mug and it says Hidden Promises. It's designed by Rosie Thorne. And it says exclusively for Illumicrate. So here is the gorgeous packaging right here. And it's really cute. So let's see what's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, this is really pretty. I do love this mug. So it wraps around. And I need to find out what is this inspired by. I, it looks familiar, but I'm not for certain. But here's a closer look. Sorry about the glare. So let's see for this mug who I created this. So it says Hidden Promises Mug, artwork by Rosie Thorne 88. It says our latest paper craft mug is inspired by Girls of Paper and Fire. Okay, so that's what it is. I haven't read that book. I do plan to read it one day. Um, but yeah, this is what this is inspired by. So it's really pretty. I like this. I'm going to put this back in the box. That way it doesn't get broken. And then I'll put it up in my cupboard with the rest of my gorgeous mugs. So we have this item. Next, let's see. Oh, okay. So we have this item right here. Let me take it out of the plastic. And it says, the planet was beautiful, the planet was horrible, the planet was full of people, and they were beautiful and horrible too. Um, this is said by Becky Chambers. And it looks like something you could put your cards in. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I like the blue. I like the gold. So let's see what this is. Okay, so it says, planet is beautiful passport cover. Okay, I do need a passport cover, so this works perfectly. And this is designed by Allie Oldfield. And it says, looking to travel off planet or have an earthbound getaway, you'll be needing this passport cover inspired by a closed and common orbit, which I don't know anything about that book whatsoever, but I do like this and I definitely will use this for my passport. But this is what it looks like. So that will come in handy. So we have this. Next thing we have here, it looks like bookends and they're really pretty. I like this color. Let me take the plastic off. Oh, these are really pretty oh my gosh I'd like these so so much all right let me stop talking and get these out of plastic <laughs> so here are the bookends here it says on my honor my life and my jade so this must be inspired by jade legacy just from that alone and I love this so so much <sighs> and this also says on my honor my life and my jade so we have two bookends and they look gorgeous. I definitely will be using these because um, I'll be getting new bookshelves um, downstairs um, where I mostly do my live discussions and my reading sprints. <laughs> so I definitely will be using these for them. This will be perfect for that. So here are these bookends. They're really beautiful. I do love, love bookends. They're useful. I love anything useful in a box. That's perfect. So for these bookends, it says Jan Loon bookends designed by Stacey McVoy Comps. It says, inspired by Jade City, these eye-catching bookends are a great addition to any bookshelf. So there we have it, some beautiful bookends. And then looks like, 
Oh, okay, we got something else. It looks like it's like a book cover for your book for protection. Oh, this is really pretty. I do like this. I wonder who made this, but you just wrap it around here like so, and it protects your book. So we have that. So let's see what this is. So it says LA Institute Library Book Jacket. Um, artwork by Palami. It says stunningly depicted by Pukami. This officially licensed book jacket is inspired by the dark artifices. Okay, haven't read that, but I do like this and this is very useful. So I do plan on using this for my books. So there's the next item. And then we're down to the book. So let's go. And of course it has a Luma crate on both ends. And here is the book and it says, We All Fall Down by Rose Sabai uh, Zabo. Um, and I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I do not plan on reading this book whatsoever. Um, it's just, it was it's not for me. And the reason why I say this um, is because um, I've read reviews about this book and a lot of the reviews that I have read are people that I trust a lot when it comes to their reviews and the books they pick. And this book particularly is just not for me. It's very offensive. Um, and I just can't, I can't support this book particularly. I can't support this author uh, just for those purposes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely go on Goodreads and look up the reviews. It's very, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> it's not good reviews. I will let y'all know right now. Um, but anyway, like I do like the cover of this book. Don't get me wrong. Um, um, I do like, you know, the sprayed, like the edges, essential edges. Like this, this book is really beautiful, but the contents inside of this book is just not for me. Um, and if I take the dust jacket off, this is what it looks like. And then it is also signed by the author, which is right here. Um, but like I said, definitely look up the reviews for this book. Um, I was sort of excited about this book at one point in time because the cover looked beautiful. Um, but um, one of my dear friends that I trust uh, let us know, or Dion particularly, uh, she let us know about this book and also she shared with us the reviews and I read some of the reviews on Goodreads myself and it was just devastating and it's definitely not for me. It's disgusting um, and I will not be reading this. Um, but, it, and like literally it, it's been, a lot of people had canceled their box because of this book alone and that's why if you see on a Luma crate, it was just, they were able, you were able just to purchase it and you didn't have to be a subscriber because a lot of people were canceling their boxes and I couldn't cancel it in time because they already processed the everything so it was too late for me um but I do plan on probably giving this book away or just putting it on my pango for someone else to get it I'm just not going to support this author um but I'll go ahead and read the synopsis anyways just in case you may be interested so it says in River City where magic used to thrive and is now fading, the witches who once ruled alongside their powerful king have become all but obsolete. The crumbling government is now controlled primarily by the new university and teaching hospital, which has grown to take over half the city. Moving between the, the Kang old city and the ruthless new city, four young queer people struggle with the daily hazards of life, work, school, and dodging power-hungry cops and unscrupulous scientists, not realizing that they have been selected to play in an an age-old drama that revives the flow of magic through their world. When a mysterious death rocks their fragile peace, the four are brought into each other's orbits as they uncover a deeper magical conspiracy. Devastating, gorgeous, and utterly unique, We All Fall Down examines the complex network of pain created by power differentials, even between people who love each other and how it is possible to be queer and turn out just fine. Um, so yeah, that is the synopsis of this book. Um, like I said, I would definitely recommend you like read the reviews and you create your own opinion about it. I just know like from reading those alone, it just wouldn't be for me and it would just be, no, can't do it, <laughs> can't do it. Um, but we also have this as well where I believe this is the note from the author. So I'll go ahead and read that as well. So it says, Dear Illuminate Reader, I grew up obsessed with fairy tales. I liked how those stories had a familiar beginning and end, but in the middle, everything turned into chaos. After I had read enough of them, I started preparing to be a fairy tale creator. That meant constant vigilance for the moment that my story would begin. And so I waited for something important to happen to me so that I could embrace it. Nothing ever did because what is left out of fairy tales is as important as what is, is included. What makes a fairy tale is the way that the story skips over everything but the essential elements of story. 
Fairy tales do not usually have deep psychological insights into how to overcome fear and do the right thing, they say, but the little tailor was brave instead of explaining how and why he chose danger over safety. Uh, in the summer of 2020, a friend of mine and I attended a protest. We'd been to several protests that summer already and felt good about going. After a seemingly uneventful march, a cop tackled the event organizer to the ground, while others swarmed, trying to pepper spray anyone who, who got close enough to help. I remember feeling torn between moving forward and backward into the line of cops to try and help our downed organizer or out and away from trouble where there was no chance that I could be blamed. And so I stayed in place, holding up my sign to try and block bursts of pe pepper spray. When they arrested our organizer and dragged him out of sight and we heard more police sirens approaching, we ran. I had been writing this book for a long time at that point, but that summer I saw that being a hero is a traumatic experience. I was not a hero that day. I walked away from the particular fight. It's, it is not a good thing to be a hero. It means traveling beyond the boundaries of your own community where no one can protect you. We love stories of heroes specifically because they aren't happening to us. It says, we all fall down is not a fairy tale, but it is about fairy tales. It's about how much you have to scrape away at a real human person before you have a, have a hero or a monster. It's a story about what happens to ordinary people when they are told that they have an extraordinary destiny and that in order to grab it, they have to give up the things that matter most to them, their jobs, their friends, their identities, their safety. It's a book about why you might choose that anyway. If you were lonely and desperate enough, or if there was someone you needed to protect. We All Fall Down is therefore a book about making bad choices, about the stupid things we do when we're queer and young. Um, it says, and how we hurt each other intentionally and unintentionally, and how easy it is to assume that you know who the good guy is and who is invincible and who needs your protection. It's about all the little acts of cruelty and queer people are capable of toward one another. In that regard, it's particularly a taxonomy of portrayal. But to me, perhaps more importantly, it's a book about the care that queer kids give one another when they leave their families of origin and connect with each other and with their communities. It's about gay tenderness, a queer ten teenager calling their lesbian roommate dad, butch femme ch uh, chivalry, a cis lesbian dressing a trans Cinderella for the ball, the kindnesses small and big that make queer community transformative that make it something magical. I hope you enjoy this book. It was hard to write, but I'm very proud of what it what it's become. Yours, Rose Zappo. So that is the author's note. Um, that was a very long note, particularly. Um, it said it was a fairy tale, but then it's it's not a fairy tale, but it it, it is about fairy tales. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But like I said, this book is definitely just not for me. Uh, um, I know it might be for other people. For, for me, it's not. But that I'm not trying to deter you away from this book. I suggest that you pick it up and you find out for yourself. Or you can read the, review, the reviews first prior to you getting this book. Um, but that is it. That is um, what we have in this box. And here, this is the book that was in this box which is very beautiful. I, I love what they did with the edges and everything and the exclusive cover is beautiful. Now for July's theme, it says into deep. Um, and that's the theme for July. So it says sometimes we find ourselves in a big of big bits of hot water, excuse me, literally or figuratively, and need a bit of creative thinking to work our way out. Our July book is a YA standalone fantasy when the last living water diviner in the kingdom is tracked down by her old mentor. He has a proposition for her. Help him locate and destroy a magical well and get revenge on the prince that abused them both. We love the magical world building, the unlikely cast of characters, including a very resourceful Sergi, or excuse me, Corgi, <laughs> Corgi, and the ending we didn't see coming. Our limited edition is signed by the author and features all exclusive cover, stencil edges, reverse dust jacket, art, and full embossing on the hardcover, both by Nia Algrant. Items for this month are inspired by a darker shade of magic, black sun, and, offic and officially licensed the folk of the air item. There's also a fandom neutral item. We love this collection of stunning, useful items with a cohesive theme. And it says sneak peek, okay? Our July box will feature a beach towel, okay, inspired by the Folk of the Air series designed by Yoshi Yashanti, Shitani. So there it is, that is the theme for July. 
but that is it that is my little unboxing I really hope to enjoy this video and my little spiel about this book I do apologize if you feel like I was just you know it's just not for me and I feel like I have a right to say that you know because it is for me not every book is for everyone and I know this particular book is not for me but it may be um for you or anyone else right um but if you do plan on picking it up go ahead and do so it's just for me not for me it's not for me um but like i said thank you uh for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please 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 give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when i upload more videos in the future but thank you so much for watching you guys and please stay healthy and stay safe see ya